Four staff members at a certain company worked on a project. The amounts of time that the four staff members worked on the project were in ratios of two to three to five to six. If one of the four staff members worked on the project for 30 hours, which of the following cannot be the total number of hours that the four staff members combined worked on the project? So first of all, if we have ratios of two to three to five to six, that means that the total is of those is 16. So in other words, we have two parts, three parts, five parts, six parts. The total is 16 parts. Of course, we don't know how big a part is. So one check would be we'd know that the total would have to be a number divisible by 16. As it turns out, all five of these numbers are divisible by 16, so that doesn't help us too much. So now we have to experiment. Suppose that two parts equals 30 hours. Suppose that's the person who worked 30 hours. Well, then one part would equal 15, and 16 parts, 16 times 15, is 240. So that's a possibility. If three parts equals 30 hours, that means one part equals 10 hours, and then 16 times 10 would be 160. So that's a possibility. Notice that we skipped 192, which immediately makes us a bit suspicious of that. If five parts equals 30, then one part equals 6. And then all 16 parts, 16 times 6 is 96. That's a possible total. If 6 parts equal 30, well then 1 part equals 5. And then 16 parts, 16 times 5, is 80. And so all of these are possible numbers, and the only one that we cannot produce by these means is D.